Welcome back to Bizarre Repairs. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clone or back up your Raspberry Pi's micro SD card or any micro SD card for that matter using the software Clonezilla. Stay tuned. Okay, so for hardware, what I have is a micro SD card USB adapter. You can even get one of these um, micro SD card USB adapters that go to an SD card that allows you to just slide it directly in if you have a device that takes this. I find these to be kind of glitchy, so I'd rather just use the uh, micro SD card USB adapter um, straight. And then all you're going to need is whatever you're going to back up to a hard drive, portable hard drive, USB is fine. Um, and then a copy of Clonezilla Live. Um, you can go to clonezilla.org and find out how to set that up on a USB drive. I'll assume you already have that done. As you can see, I already have that in the background. Make sure all your devices are plugged in, and then let's get started. Okay, now I have Clonezilla Live boot, uh, booted up. Make sure your micro SD card is plugged into your USB adapter or to your laptop or machine. We're going to go ahead, uh, for me I'm just going to select the Clones of the Live, 1024 by 568 or 768, okay, let's see, okay, go ahead and let Clonezilla boot up, should just take a second. Okay, now Clonezilla Live is up, and go ahead and select your language, English. Uh, I'm going to keep the default keyboard layout, and then start Clonezilla. Okay, so here's your options here. You can do device image or device on device. I'm going to be doing device image because I just want to create an image, which is a backup, but you can also do device device, which will kind of act as a clone. Okay, then you have different options here, SSH server and a, uh, NFS, web dev. I'm just going to do a local at the top. And then press enter to continue. Okay, now I want you to go ahead and make sure all your devices are connected. I already have mine connected, so go ahead and hit control C. going to search all devices and then give you a list here. So it wants to know where do you want um, your Clonezilla image repository to be. This is where you're going to select um, your portable hard drive, your USB stick, your uh, micro SD card, wherever you want the uh, image file to go. For me, I'm going to bring this over to my my passport. This, this is my portable hard drive here. So go ahead and select enter. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and save it to backups. And then go down to done. And then press enter to continue. And then go ahead and I'm going to select beginner mode because I'm a beginner. And then now it has the option to save disk or save partition. Okay, so if you want to just save the partition, you can go ahead and save that. I'm going to save it as a local disk, as an image. So I will have a backup. Now I want you to, want you to give it the, a name. That name is fine, I'm just gonna add backup to it. So it gives you the date and time of the backup. And then go ahead and select okay. All right, now it's gonna want to know the source. So this is the source that it's gonna actually pull from. Okay, so you've got to watch out and make sure that you select the right device because this is going to be where it actually pulls the data from. And this is my Raspberry Pi at the very bottom, 31.4 gigabytes. So I'm going to select that. And you can select tab and then OK. Okay, then it wants to let you know if you want to skip checking repairing the source file or interactively check and repair the source file or check and repair, you can do either or. I'm going to skip it, 
And it's asking you here if you want to check the saved data or skip checking the saved image. I'm going to skip it. And I'm not going to encrypt at this time, but it's a pretty awesome feature here. You can actually encrypt it or not encrypt your data. I'm not going to encrypt at this time. And afterwards, it's asking you what do you want to do. Do you want to reboot, shut down? I'm going to reboot. Press enter to continue. It's going to prompt you again. Are you sure? Yes. And you want to, before you do this, make sure everything is correct. Before you press yes, make sure you have everything done and you feel confident. Go ahead and press yes. And the process is starting. So, like I said, this is going to back up my micro SD card from my Kali Linux Raspberry Pi to a portable hard drive that I have. And you can also clone if you want to. But I'm going to back up at this time. And we'll be back when this finishes. Okay, as you can see, Clonezilla is finishing up here. We are all done. Guys, I highly recommend you guys download this software. It's free. It's open source. It works really well. You don't have to do much. Just put it onto a, a USB Lite CD and uh, pop it in. And look at that. We are good to go. Clone, back up, do whatever you want. Highly recommend it. I'll see you guys on the next video. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer. Or maybe I won't. Who cares? Bye-bye.